but how can we be sure? Go down. Down we go. There's gonna be a lot of elevator riding just to see. I'll ride this just for a little bit to see if the narrator says anything. And dance. I'm digging the, the music though. Some really prime elevator music. Let's really drink in this this space. The lights are good. Some some documents spread on the floor here. I can't really read what that says because it's shaking around. A short history of the relations between Poland and Austria, Hungary. No, oh, all right then. Pretty sure this does does nothing. All right, I'm done writing it. <clears throat> Bored of that. Anything else in, in this room? Graphs. Everyone loves graphs. Close the door. Close. Close. Why can't I close it? Whatever. Okay. I'm Standing here again. To his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What I forgot the code. Mean? I Stanley already forgot the code again. Allowed to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, no, pulling books off the shelf. I'm not doing any of that. Behind paintings, desperate for clues. I didn't do any of that. Situation. Don't you fucking put words in my mouth, or actions in my desk. mouth, what could its or purpose mind, be? I don't fucking know. In fact, this keypad guarded the Two, secret that eight, buried below his four, feet. four. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. But no, no, this is what he was going to do instead. 6666! Six, 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 six. Oh, spooky. What do you gotta say about this? I don't even want your combination. Watch him just open the door anyways. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Nope. Trying I'm entering. Put anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was two Let's try. Or five. Oh, please be something if I put in leet. Damn it! I was hoping for some two, sort of Easter egg. Eight, four, five. You one three three seven. One three three seven is what you wanted, right? Oh come on, lead. It's got to be the it's got to be the password, right? Lead. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency <laughs> I fucking knew it. And the door just opened all the <laughs> I knew he would do and that. Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, what did do? Impatient narrator, impatient. He gets bored. The narrator gets bored, you know. He's just like you or me. Behind that voice is a human being. Or maybe some sort of AI intelligence. In either case, still sentient, you know? Still aware of what it is. Dun, 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 dun. That's why they need the elevator music and those loading screens. They're not very long, but still, you know, it'd be nice. So. Then walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Indeed, I did. I did. You got that part right. And here we find ourselves in the architect's room. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought. Terrible secret. Strength to find out. I'm gonna walk forward, and we'll do the same shit again, but with different choices. Different choices, narrator. That is the beauty of this game. Okay. Now the monitors. Oh, someone got fired. See that shit? Revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stand Where's mine? I want to find mine to see what it shows. Lives of so many individuals reduced to Show me employee four two seven. And Stanley 
one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, oh. Oh, I thought they changed. They did not. This mind oh. control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. There we go, 427. Had Stanley really been under someone's control Looking at it. all this time? Was nope, this the only it's not showing anything. It's showing my office. Job, that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Let's ride the no, saucer he to cylinder. It. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. We stood over there before, Never. down there. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again... I'm gonna turn it off. Terrible For realsies this time. Die! Oh. What happened? Oh boy. That's spooky. What did I do? Oh, it's dark. I'm still walking around. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Fuck, it's all dark. Was it over? I don't know. Oh. What? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the Did machine. I win? Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. What is this? And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, oh boy. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand. God, this door takes forever to open. Let's fucking open it. I want my freedom. Tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lived, it's so pretty outside. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. No, he didn't. He's still holding on here, just to see what's going on. If anything else will happen. Eh? Go ahead, comment on my behavior. What am I doing? Not doing what you wanted me to do. Am I? Am I, narrator? Because if I listen to you, and go outside that door, right now, then, then I am following orders, right? Right? Logic would follow that way, right? I don't know what to do. On the one hand, I want freedom. But on the other hand, he just said that I wanted freedom. So do I really want freedom? Or does the narrator want me to have... Does the narrator want me to want freedom? So therefore, it's not actually what I want. But it's so inviting. Isolation. And darkness. Or the outside. And freedom. Eh, fuck it, let's walk outside. Oh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. Oh, that's nice. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Mm. And Stanley was happy. Yay! Stanley was happy. I got the happy ending. <laughs> uh, get it? Happy ending. Achievement unlocked. Beat the game. I beat it, guys. I did it. There's no need to play it again. Just kidding. There's still some other things we can do. At least I think so. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. 
No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Must touch all the computers. Input received. Touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't, didn't it? make a single difference. You sure? Nor did it advance the story in any way? Are you sure it doesn't? What if I hit this enough times? Nope, that's not doing anything. Let's just keep going. So I remember someone saying something about if you hit the certain door. A certain door's number, or a certain door's knob, so somebody ha, 420 blaze it. It'll, uh, it'll open or do something. Something? The fuck is wrong with me? Can't even talk properly. Trying to see if I hit this doorknob enough times, maybe it'll open up to a, a room full of just weed and fucking joints everywhere. Get it, because it's 420. Whatever. Let's just go. Let's just go! When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm, no. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, mm -mm. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps yeah, what he are you gonna do about it? Fuck you. Employee lounge first, just to admire it. Now I'm over the blue room. I've already admired it. Uh, yes, it's great. It's room worth, admiring, worth noting. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door. No, outside. he did not. He went straight again. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. We are destined for the red door over there. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. You're I so my enemy. I your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story is... What? Really? Yep. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? I don't give a shit about you. Are you convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why... I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a Open chance. the red door. Now listen carefully. Open this the red door. Important. Stanley walked through the red door. Okay. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Oh God! Running and running and running, just the it's way doing the doing infinity right now. thing again. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. What and are you I proposing? Think, well, I think I have a solution. What's your proposal? Proposal? <laughs> New word. Oh, oh boy. Each side. Wait, what? Which one? Does it matter? They're the same thing, aren't they? What are you showing me? What are you doing, man? Things are getting freaky. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Oh boy. The fuck? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just I'm gonna stay guess. right here. Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I'm right there with you, bud. It's pretty I nice here. Feel happy. Wow, it's pretty. Well done, narrator. I'm tripping balls with the narrator right now. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. I can still go through that door though, which is kind of alarming. You got anything else? You got some more? Oh, look at that! Look how pretty that looks! Ooh, narrator, you've got some good shit! I'm actually feeling pretty relaxed right now. Good on you, narrator. 
When does it end, though? Does it ever end? Seriously, though, does it ever end? I don't, I don't know. It's still pretty cool right now. But I know that door is there. It's, it's so, so tempting to just walk through it. <clears throat> I don't know why, but when I saw this green stuff right now and the, the blurs on it, I just imagined it as like vomit floating through space. It's immediately where my brain shot to. Ooh, the stars are actually moving too. That's nice. Let this go for a little bit and then I think it's time to walk through that door and see wh wh where it takes us. Can I, can I walk off? No, I can't walk off. Alright, let's walk through the door. No, wait. Where are you going? What? I'm going over here, man. Nothing else is happening over there. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. <laughs> Silly Please, narrator. No, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Oh boy. Well, here goes nothing. No! I didn't die. Oh, thank God you lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Mm -hmm. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Sure. Oh, it's pretty. There. See? This is what you want. This, this is, is euphoria, man. We happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Insightful words. Words to live by, narrator. We just have to stop moving. Although if we stop moving, then nothing gets done. And then this video game would have never been made. So, ooh, let's spin while that- Ah, uh, it went away. Now what? Do I go try to kill myself again? I'm gonna go try to kill myself again. Leaving again. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from <clears> this. <throat> It, well, I mean, it was nice for a little bit, but after a little while, it gets... Oh, no. what are you doing? It gets, it gets you lame, dude. Believe me? What can I say to convince you? I don't know. Say something. Dude, I'm about to do it again. You gonna say anything? No? Nothing? Alright, cheerio then. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do... My God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? <laughs> He's so sad! <laughs> or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. Apparently I just, I just don't die. To get along. I guess that was too much to ask. I'm like the girl from Heroes. Yeah, I can just jump off a big a height. After all. Well, this one is yours. <laughs> I'm dead. It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going back. Poor narrator. It's like he's trapped in this game. This game is the narrator's prison. 